Hey guys, this is Insect Man's today with the insect relay video. Actually, um, I have in front of me the Cecropia moth um, pupa inside its cocoon. I've done a little kind of like a cross section of it. Um, so this is this is the cocoon. Um, it's always formed on undersides of branches and twigs, sometimes near an intersection of the twig and trunk, or twig and branch, or branch and trunk. Um, always on the underside. The cocoon consists of two cocoons actually. First one's going to be the outside cocoon. This is the, um, the outside of the outside cocoon. Um, I just cut a piece off. This is the inside of the outside cocoon. Pretty similar. Um, then you have a smaller cocoon inside um, which uh, completes the uh, chamber that the pupa stays in. Um, this is the outside of the inside cocoon and then you flip it over it's really nice and shiny and smooth on the inside. That's the inside of the inside cocoon. Inside the cocoon besides the pupa you'll also find the remains of the caterpillar. This is the cast skin of the caterpillar. Um, this is looking at the inside and the white stuff you see in the middle there is uh, the the old tracheal tubes, the part of the caterpillar's respiratory system. Um, so this is the pupa. This is a small pupa. I raised this in small in a small container, so I'm just gonna roll them out here. Very hard to hurt these guys. That's the inside that he stays in. Here's the actual pupa. Looks the very healthy pupa. Um He's all plump. Um, hasn't been moving around too much. He moves every now and then. You gotta tap him a few times. Um, but that's pretty much the Cecropia pupa. This will hatch later this spring. On the sides here, you can see those little black circles. Those are spiracles. Like I was saying earlier with the caterpillar, the tracheal tubes, those go to the spiracle so it can breathe oxygen from outside. Um, that's pretty much it. And you can see where everything's going to form. The wings right there, the antennae, the face, the legs in the middle, along with the proboscis. If, it, if they have one, not all uh, moths will have one. Um, and this is just the back side of them. So yeah. If you have any questions, anything that you need identified, give me a uh, comment on the video. Give me as much detail as possible, and I will see if I can get identified for you. Thanks. Bye.